Let's see examples of closure of graphs. Here you can see a graph which consists of six vertices. Now I am right here as one whose adjacent vertices to three, four, five, six. So there is no non-adjacent pair because already two, three, four, five, six is adjacent with one. Now you can go to two, which is adjacent to three because one is already adjacent. Leave that higher vertices you can add up. So two adjacent to three. So non-adjacents are remaining four, five, six because totally there are six vertices. So after three, you can write four, five, six are non-adjacent vertices because the closure definition is you have to join a pair of non-adjacent vertices. Now three, it is adjacent to four, two no need and one no need because already it is here. So higher order, so it is adjacent to four. So non-adjacent are after those four, five and six. Again, four, it is adjacent to five. So the non-adjacent is six. Five adjacent to six. So there is no any non-adjacent vertices because there are totally six vertices. So six is already here. So no need to see one, two, three, etc. because it is already adjacent. So every time when you see the vertex, you have to see the higher vertex. So uh, whose non-adjacent vertices? Now you can write the closure of graph. See the closure of graph, the previous graph whose closure is drawn in uh, red color. You can see one adjacent to two, three, four, five, and there is no non adjacent pair. So from here, no red lines are came. And two, uh, now it is newly adjacent to four, five, six. So two, which is adjacent to four, five, six, and three, which is adjacent to five, six, five, six. Again, four adjacent to six. Now, so that is uh, notated here as a red line. Now, as per the definition of closure, repeatedly joining the pair of non-adjacent vertices whose degree sum is at least P. At least P. P doesn't mean the number of vertices. So here the number of vertices here is 6 so that you can write P is equal to 6. Right? Now, whose degree sum is? Whose degree sum? Now, here one which is not adjacent to anybody because already it is adjacent. Now two adjacent to four. So that degree of two plus degree of four, that's equal to degree of two here, five. One, two, three, four, five. Plus degree of four is here, three, four, five. So which is equal to 10, at least P. That's our definition. So at least is greater than or equal to P here is 6. Okay. Similarly, you have to check for D 2, comma 5, D 2, comma 6, 3, comma 5, 3, comma 6, everything. It will be at least P. So it is definitely okay. Hence, we can say that this is the closure of the previous graph. This. You can see the another one example whose closure. Now you can see here there is six vertices. You take up one which is adjacent to two, five, six. So the non adjacents are two, okay, three and four. Again, you can see two, two which is adjacent to three and six. So remember you have to take the higher vertices. Lower vertices is already filled up here. So you take the higher vertices higher. Term vertices that is 2 adjacent to 3 6 now the leaving terms here is 4 5 so that's you can write and 3 which is adjacent to 4 6 so the leaving term here is 5 again 4 it is adjacent to 5 and 6 so no other term because there is totally 6 vertices so no other terms are there and 5 which is adjacent to 6 and here also no other higher order so leave that now we can draw the uh, closure by using this vertices. See, by using this vertices, one adjacent to three and four. So one adjacent to three and four, two adjacent to four, five, four, five, three adjacent to five, and four and five, there is no adjacent terms. Now we can check up our closure condition that is degree sum will be at least p that is greater than or equal to p so here the total number of vertices is 6 that is our p value now degree sum is 1 
plus degree of 3. So degree of 1 is 5, degree of 3 is 5. So that 10 which is greater than or equal to 6. Similarly, you have to check for 1, 4 and degree 2 plus degree 4, degree 2 plus degree 5, degree 3 plus 5 and so on. You will get that definitely which is greater than or equal to 6. So this is the closure of this graph. Thank you.